Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Play Might and Magic Clash of Heroes. This is the second time I'm recording this because I have a new uh, recording setup right now. This is kind of to test how well um, the Pinnacle Studios 21 screen capture can go. Um, unfortunately, my first recording, I did not test to see what my voice was compared to the game audio, so unfortunately, I had blasting game audio and a very tiny voice, so you couldn't hear anything. I'm also doing this because I'm in a new room. I'm out of my parents' basement, and I'm in somebody else's basement, essentially. And there's a lot of echo here, so I want to know how badly the echo is and whether or not it's tolerable to you guys. And also just kind of how well uh, the frames per second is on this new laptop, or second-hand laptop anyways. Campaign. I already started, but unfortunately, this is the one that didn't work, so we gotta go new game. Ashan is a world of legendary peoples. The elves guard the forests of Irulan. Knights rule the Griffin Empire. Wizards survey the deserts of the Silver Cities. And necromancers control the wastelands of Heresh. But there is another parallel world. It is Sheyag, the prison world of the demons. During certain lunar eclipses, known as blood moons, the walls of their prison weaken, and they burst forth, plunging Asham into war. During the last demon war, a powerful artifact was created. Called the Blade of Binding, it allowed its wielder to bind demons to his will. When it fell into the hands of a demon lord, it nearly turned the tide of the war in their favor. After the demons were vanquished, the Blade was given to a handful of allies for safekeeping. These families of elven, human, and wizardly descent swore to guard it. But those who covet its power still dream of obtaining it. Prologue, somewhere in the ancient forest of Irulan. Let's go. I hear them. Father, heavy boots. It must be our guest from the Griffin Empire. Your ears have grown sharper than mine, Anwin. Lesser. What's up? This is the PC version. I do have the PS3 version, but I'm too lazy to turn the darn thing on <laughs> and also wait for updates. <laughs> so I'd rather not. Edric, old friend, welcome again to Irulan. Thus, sir, the pleasure is mine. Unlike me, your forest grows more beautiful with age. This can't be little Anwen. What have you been feeding her? I'm the hunter in the family now, Lord Edric. I feed him. This strapping young knight must be your son, Godric. I am pleased to meet our elven allies. Let me present my siblings, Fiona and Aiden. Airline is amazing. Mystery and magic seem to peer from behind every tree. Big trees, big bugs, big mud puddles, big hassle. And when take Godric to the portal and greet our friends D Dalara, Azrafar, and their daughter Nadia. Why is it just those two? Why don't we why don't we make this a kind of a Teenager thing, <laughs> just have all the kids go. Alright. Yes. I love how this guy's just posing like, Here, here, that way! <laughs> and then he just puts his spear down. An uneasy wind passes through Irland this night. Do not sound so dreary, elf. <laughs> I don't know. Always trust the wind. Follow this path, and you will arrive at the portal, Anwin. You cannot miss it. 
Hail and win! The hunters await your command. Don't fear, F girl. We knights shall protect you if any force monsters come calling. Oh yeah? I'd like to see you take on a deer, little knight. Oh well. So yeah, this is a lot different from the DS version, I can tell you that much. The DS version is the one I played first. But yeah, instead of little sprites, we actually have full drawn characters. For the most part, anyways. Gloves are, their hands are a little big, but eh. I feel like those are gloves. <laughs> Greetings, Lady Dalara. Welcome to Iroland. You forgot the daughter. Anwen, so full of light. Your father claims you can track a breeze and put an arrow through a bird's eye. Ow. And young Godric, son of, Ed son of Edric. You have your father's strength and your mother's intensity. What kind of mother did you have, Godric? <laughs> May I present my daughter, Nadia? So, this is Irulan. The texts and paintings I have stud studied do not do it justice. Oi. I don't know how much they changed the portraits themselves from uh, the DS version, but I think everybody's just a tad taller. <laughs> Lady Dal Dalara, we thought your husband, Azraf, Refer was coming. Yes, mother. Why did father not join us? Please lead the way to the delegation. All will be explained there. Oh, family troubles? Wait, something is wrong. A disturbance. Tree falling? Hello, what are you? Demons in the forest of Erland! You kidding me? Not should I use them for target practice. Ooh, swords. Just enemy. Okay. <laughs> I thought this guy might have had a name. Welcome to the field of battle. The battlefield is divided into two parts, top and bottom. The enemy's army stands ready on the top screen. I'm going to try and talk through this as fast as I can because I've already gone through this. Your army stands ready on the bottom of the screen. The objective is to strike the enemy zone with your attacks. Up here. You have the first turn. Thank you. Never moves in a turn is indicated by the move counter. Begin the battle by making an attack formation. To do that, place three units of the same color on top of each other. Only units at the bottom of, the, of a column can be grabbed. So these guys. To grab a unit, just click on them. Also, one thing to note... Ugh, what the hell was my train of thought? Oh, right! Um, if you're the- if you are the first attacking unit, you only get two moves. After this, everybody gets three. Place it there, and there we go. Great, you have formed an attack, but you also have one of your moves. But you also use one of your moves. This attack will launch in one turn. As you can see by- it'll show up in a second here. Is indicated by the blinking charge number on the attack. There you go. Now to make a second attack with your remaining moves. So as you can see, we're doing charge in one turn, and we're doing one damage. Or at least these guys have a total of one health. Keep that in mind. <laughs> it's now the enemy's turn. First attack scored a direct hit on the enemy zone. The second attack was weakened by enemy units. The amount of health points in the enemy's bar is now lower. Just like your enemy, if your HP reaches zero, you lose the battle. However, your hero's HP will generate af after each and every battle. You need to create another attack to finish the enemy off. Call reinforcements by clicking on the unit counter. Down here. You only have one move left, but can't form another attack. Click on the move counter to end your turn. 
So I'm like down here. Yeah, okay, sure. And these odds do about three damage each. I remember in the DS version, your character portrait did little squints every time you got hurt. They don't do that anymore. You have depleted all of the enemy's HP. You won the battle. Congratulations. Winning battles will earn you experience points. Gaining XP will cause you to level up and increase in strength and abilities. Thank you. I don't know about ability, but we do get stronger. I smell smoke. Quick, the camp is under attack. And if you go anywhere else, quick, the camp is under attack. And just run. They'll catch up. Die, demon! <laughs> More hounds? Okay, we could use the fleet, but why? What are we learning today, game? The enemy has made two attack formations. Create a wall to defend against an attack. Do that, place three units of the same color side by side. Your own attacks will pass over your walls. Sylvan walls recover a small amount of HP each turn. This is a special wall ability. Yeah, walls usually... every class has their own special wall. All walls have a different special ability. I just said that. You can kind of shows that you have 12 reinforcements available. When a unit leaves the battlefield, it is added to the unit counter. Call for reinforcements. I think the game will tell us later, but walls count as units, so be wary. Make an attack with the blue core units. Your wall blocked the enemy's first attack. The second attack plowed through some of your idle units. Any unit that is not charging is known as an idle unit. Idle units are instantly destroyed by any incoming attacks. Idle units reduce the power of incoming enemy attacks. Each unit has a different amount of defensive toughness. Good luck fighting! Okay, how do we... Sh how shall we do this? Um, I'm good with just a wall, really. Piece, apparently. That's good to know. <laughs> and our archers are, can now do one extra damage when fully charged. So much for defeating monsters. On guard! Okay, variety. Imp, demon, and hound. What are you teaching us now, game? Sometimes it's easier to remove a unit or wall to free up space. 
right click to remove it. Remove the blue unit here. Okay. As you see, removing a unit or wall costs a move. Thank you. Attacks or walls can also be made by removing units or walls. Right click the unit to remove it. Remove the other unit to create a chain, as I did in the last round. See? Yeah, one point. You made a chain. I noticed you received a bonus move. You'll gain as many bonus moves as the number of chains created. All by removing a single unit. Remember what you've learned. The rest of the battle is up to you. And this guy... He's just gonna stay there, really. Take ne nearly as long as that last guy did. <laughs> so yeah, leveling up, we gain more health, and we can have more units on the field, up to 20 now. Why do people run off without me? Do you guys have units to help you? You probably do, but... Savagely, the attackers put the camp to the torch. Sparing no one, not even the children. Terrified by his sister's fate, Aiden grabs a nearby weapon and crawls away from the fallen heroes who tried in vain to save them. Ha ha ha! I would have come alone if I'd known they'd have children as gods! Man, you're a biggie. Though nicely colored in, I will say that. Gone. They're all gone. I'm not screaming this in an echoing room. <laughs> Father! No. No, this cannot be. Where are the dead bodies? I think they're over here. Fiona, you're wounded. Come, children. We must hurry to the portal. I'll open the way to the Silver Cities. But our ki but the camps, our parents, they're dead. They are gone, and the secret relic we were sworn to hide has disappeared. We must warn others of the threat unleashed this day. Run! I like to work up an appetite before dinner. Go through the portal. Now, I will hold back this beast. Mother! I'll stay behind with Dalara and buy you time to escape. Alright, very flashy outfit with the feathers under Godric. Though Dalara's brave stand delays the enemy, it proves futile. And as she falls, a magical light escapes from her body and overwhelms Nadia. Uh, what was that? Don't throw up, please don't throw up. Now's not the good time. Nadia! Uh, the portal is fading. Go through. The portal is gone, and Dalara and Godric. Oh no. I hope the others made it to the Silver Cities. You can quickly poke your head down there, can't you? It might not be a good idea, but... 
I must warn my cousin, Finden. Father, I will not forget what happened here tonight. Yeah, anybody will. The demons finish their bloody work. As Anwen crouches in hiding, containing her rage, waiting with a hunter's patience until the odds turn in her favor. Someone sent the demons to attack the camp. Someone powerful. Someone who knew them. Someone who does not yet have what he wants. There's a lot of people in the background there. 